As a lecturer in demography and sociology at the University of Lausanne, Laura Bernardi has completed a broad study conducted within the European project REPRO. Its aim is to understand the reasons behind the decrease in fertility in Europe. With less than two children for each woman, European countries can nowadays be found below the population renewal line. And also in a context in which we observe a certain number of people, an important number of people of women and men, who declare to want more children than they in fact have at the end of their reproductive life. So REPRO, the, the research project, tries to understand better what are the determinants of reproductive decision making and in particular what are the determinants that motivate individuals to want children and to intend a certain number of children and what are the factors that uh, affect the realization or the non-realization of this intention. The capacity to realize intentions often depends on the context and the uh, the way in which it facilitates or not uh, fertility realization. For instance, we have uh, in the Netherlands 75% of individuals managing to realize their intentions, while in Bulgaria and Hungary this is only about 40%. And of course, um, that means that in general, nevertheless, one-fourth of the population, even in the better case of the Netherlands, doesn't realize the intention. Within this field, it is impossible to make predictions about a life. Thus, the study carried out by nine countries lasted three years. So understanding better uh, the motivation behind uh, fertility intentions and the lack of realization of fertility intentions could be very useful in terms of policy recommendation because we could think about um, efficient policies to improve uh, individual life quality, allowing the realization of an individual life project, and also societies um, in the sense of, for instance, contrasting low fertility and population aging. This European partnership implies uh, nine countries and nine institutions and that has been a very useful uh, starting point because we could plan from the beginning to put together uh, resources that would have been very difficult to do uh, on the basis of individual uh, national funding. And also it's very useful because we could put together um, competencies that, that may be complementary and they were differentially distributed across the partners. <laughs>